Hey, how's it going guys? Before we get started, I'd just like to take a moment to introduce myself, my group members and our key learning areas. So my name is James and I teach science. My name's Kiara and I teach PDHP. My name is Blake and I also teach PDHP. My name is David and I teach design and technology. And my name is Cynthia and I teach math. The project that we have created was designed with one key goal in mind, being the improvement of multicultural understandings in Kingswood High School. Located in Western Sydney, Kingswood High School is a middle to low SES school with about 31% of students identified as either Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander or Lavote students. From discussions with staff and students at Kingswood High School, it is clear to us that the diverse cultures of the school have often gone undervalued and significantly underappreciated. As such, we propose a program which will span across the duration of Term 1 2019, involving both students and staff working together as a whole school community. Through implementation of our program, we hope to develop awareness of cultural identity and differences in understanding, through examination of the manners in which cultural expression can be incorporated into varied key learning areas. So now I'm going to talk about the goal of our research, our action research. So the main goal of our research is to identify and improve upon school practices to further develop students. Um, this will include students who come from low socioeconomic backgrounds, um, Lavote students, and also Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. Uh, this proposal aims to um, incorporate uh, cultural and tradition traditional aspects in the community, uh, especially within uh, the school to enhance the um, educational setting. And by doing this, we hope to develop uh, the teachers and the faculty um, in terms of the traditions and culture. So the overall goal is to improve the quality um, of multicultural enhancement uh, within the Kingswood High School. Uh, this will be done with uh, various areas, um, traditional methods, and also uh, by incorporating um, new learning, hopefully, through different uh, practices. So according to CNES 2015, uh, social dynamics of multicultural and diverse schools require social support, meaning that teachers need to support these students and understand them in order to progress uh, in terms of the traditions and culture. Um, so in order to incorporate change, we need to develop teachers and also um, student learning. Uh, UDIS 2010 also supports this and adds that by incorporating languages and also improving the understanding of teachers, it can also have uh, great benefits towards actually implementing cultural and multicultural changes. So this is our goal for the research is to basically enhance these areas and uh, bring in new practices. We're going to bring in these practices slowly. So um, doing it in stages, uh, since we're talking about different KLA areas, we wanna make sure that every KLA is meeting the needs of these students and bring in uh, different approaches. So by doing it in stages, as opposed to bringing in a big change all at once, we can monitor the changes and also see what works and doesn't work within the particular Kingswood school. Uh, it might be different for certain schools, but since we're focusing on Kingswood High, these um, changes that we are bringing in need to be specific enough um, and also changes need to be seen in order to continue with the current methods. So by doing it in sections and stages, we can monitor that much better. Units of work in various KLAs will be informed by cultural knowledge over the course of the term the intervention takes place. The use of cultural knowledge to meet the requirements of curriculum cements students' understanding of cultural knowledge as being valid and legitimate. For example, in mathematics, students study the extremely complex familial relationship system that is part of Aboriginal culture. In design and technology, a design process may be created following the lines of a design process used by a character in an ancient story of the school's dominant ethnicity. In PDHP, students play games from different cultures in their practical classes. Within a science context, students are presented scenarios of sustainability and management of resources in varied environments and cultural contexts. In creative and performing arts, Students will rehearse and perform traditional dances or plays of different cultures. Over the course of the term, multiple afternoons of cultural performances will take place and every student will take part in at least one of these. These various units of work will end with a multidisciplinary project in which all faculties work together. 
The units of work may also make use of group work in which groups are assigned with the intention of having students come from different cultures working together. Surveys will take place before and after the program, gauging students' understanding and appreciation of different cultures. These inform future implementation of the strategies used in the intervention. A key question is how we are going to measure the improvement of multicultural understanding in Kingswood High School. We have decided to use a mixed method approach to help measure the improvement. Mixed method designs can provide practical advantages when exploring complex research questions. The qualitative data provides a deep understanding of survey responses and statistical analysis can provide detailed assessment of patterns of responses. For our data collection, we will use surveys, observations and interviews. Surveys are an effective way to obtain quantitative data. We will be conducting surveys on students' awareness and appreciation of diversity in culture before and after the intervention. This can help us determine if our project has created change. Another data collection method used to measure the improvement is observation. We will be observing students' engagement in multicultural activities. In addition, we will be observing teachers' influence in assisting or dealing with students from diverse backgrounds to identify trends and patterns within school practice. Our final data collection method is interviews. When dealing with racial composition, social context is very important. Interviews will thus be utilized to put behavior into context. Teachers will be provided with open-ended questions to reconstruct their perceptions on students' behavior and engagement before and during and after the intervention. This will allow the views of the teacher to be established and in-depth knowledge to be documented within the interviews of the teacher. This provides valuable qualitative data. With this data, we hope to determine whether Kingswood High School is becoming more culturally aware. Regarding a timeline of implementation, we have created a Gantt chart to further visualize our goals. During the final weeks of Term 4 2018, staff are gonna be provided with additional foundational information and the resources required to complete this project. Students will be provided with the basis of the program to be implemented at the start of the next term. From term two of week one in 2018, students across all stage four classes will begin incorporating greater instances of multicultural understandings in their class. At regular fortnightly intervals, students will participate in cultural performance afternoons of very key learning areas. Additional feedback performance reviews will be conducted in conjunction with these afternoons to gain an insight into the success of the program throughout the term. In the final three weeks of term one, a final series of quantitative and qualitative data will be gathered and formed into a reflective analysis and adjustments report. This data will be further analyzed and shared amongst faculty members with opportunity for reflection at a whole school level. If this project proves successful, further incorporation at stage five and six levels can be further enhanced beginning from term two and term three 2018. Whilst cultural performance afternoons directly create whole school involvement, the initial classroom program will focus upon stage four classrooms. As prior mentioned, success at a stage four level will provide opportunity for further implementation at stages five and six. This leads to a cycle of continuous improvement in that both staff and students at Kingswood High School will be provided with first 10 instances of diversity in cultures at regular intervals in a positive manner to embrace connections. As students experience these performances and examples of cultural diversity within the classroom, a greater sense of appreciation will be gained, which can be further carried through later years of schooling and further life aspects. Further, staff members will be provided not only with a greater understanding and appreciation for diversity in cultures within Kingswood High School, but also provided opportunity to trial and demonstrate various pedagogical practices that often go underused, such as creating links with cultures and societies in specific stages of the New South Wales syllabus. If this project proves a success, it can be altered or improved to provide further opportunity for multicultural awareness across the school year for further years to come, providing students up to potential six years of exposure to cultural understanding.